Last night, the Bengals played the Commanders in a big game for the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals are accustomed to having two bad weeks every year. In the five seasons under Joe Burrow, they've been one and nine in weeks one and two. They've been one and 11 under Zach Taylor as the head coach. Entering the game, it was at home. Cincinnati was hosting, and they're playing a rookie quarterback, a team that had some, some success early on being the Giants, but only scoring fields, not being able to score in the red zone and having their own flaws. Ultimately, the Bengals lost this game. And if you're a Bengals fan, I don't think it's a game that should concern you in terms of offensively. Joe Burrow is still an elite quarterback. Joe Burrow is capable of leading this team, and the Bengals will make the playoffs. The Bengals will win their division. They're definitely the best team in their division with the most high-powered offense. And the old adage is offense wins games, defense wins championships. That's the truth. But in the regular season, those are the games where offenses win. When you get to the Super Bowl, when you get to the playoffs, you need a defense to help anchor you. So offensively, the Bengals look good. Jamar Chase played really well. He took advantage of his one-on-one -on -one coverages. T. Higgins got involved later in the later in the game. I think he's going to have an expanded role. And they found a true wide receiver at wide receiver three in Yoshi. They finally have some that can replace Tyler Boyd along for the receiver core to really expand and be successful. The run game was looking really strong with Zach Moss and Chase Brown. They really took advantage of running outside the tackles. Chase Brown had to speed Zach Moss, brought a little bit more of that ground and pound mentality. And I think the Bengals will really grow offensively. The issue, though, is their defense side of the ball. They were without Sheldon Rankings and B.J. Hill, so their interior was very, very exposed. On top of that, when they had Sheldon Rankings the previous weeks, they still struggled against the run. And I think this is a very important thing the Bengals need to fix because it all starts with the line of scrimmage. The one thing that we've learned throughout the entire NFL for the past several years is that, yes, quarterbacks are important, but you're not going to win unless you dominate the line of scrimmage. And the Bengals are getting pushed around every single game at the line of scrimmage. They couldn't stop the run. And then you look at containing Jay and Daniels. They didn't do a great job of that either. He was able to escape the pocket, move out, extend some plays. Ultimately, the Bengals' defense was the issue and the reason why they lost this game to the commanders. If they can improve their run defense, I think they'll be able to be a little bit better and have a lot more success. When it comes to containing J.D. Daniels, you're not going to be facing many quarterbacks like that. Obviously, Lamar Jackson in your division. But aside from him, there's not many players that they're going to be playing this year that's going to be able to move like that. But ultimately, it comes down to stopping the run. On the other hand, the commanders, they looked incredible. They looked like they were just playing fun ball. Jaden Daniels was playing very smart for a rookie. He was going out there, and he threw an exceptional completion percentage Entering the game, he had a 75 completion percentage. After this game, I'm sure it's bound to go up because he went, I believe, 18 for 20. He had some beautiful throws to Terry McLaurin. McLaurin finally looks pretty good now being used, having 39 yards the past two games combined and passing that mark on his first catch of the game with 55 yards. That beautiful touchdown in the end zone to put the game away. The Commanders looked really good offensively, and I think they're going to be a team that is going to make some noise. I don't know if they'll make the playoffs, but they're going to be this fun team that has the capability of competing in their matches. All in all, the commanders looked good. The Bengals struggled. They're 0-3. And I know people want to sound the alarm because now it's, quote-unquote, unfamiliar territory for them, right? Because they are 0-3, usually struggle in weeks 1 and 2, but they win week 3. But I want to remind Bengals fans, last year, yes, you won week 3, but you started the season 1-3. and three. Then you won four straight, and you start at five and three, okay? The Bengals will be okay. They're not going to they're not gonna fall off. They have an MVP-level quarterback. They have top wide receivers now. If the offensive line can stay intact, I know Trent Brown's likely to be out for a long period of time. Marius Mims can be, you know, what they anticipate him being. The biggest question mark was this inexperience, but if he can be what they anticipate him being, the old line will be strong. The running back room looked really good. It really just comes down to this interior of the defense. If the interior of the defense can hold up, they're going to be okay. And hopefully BJ Hill and Sheldon Rankings come back healthy. They're going to be the best version of themselves. But we'll see. Wouldn't be surprised if the Bengals try and make a move at the deadline. Commanders, they looked great. All right. They did look really good. They looked really strong offensively. Defensively, they, they didn't look perfect. I do think the Bengals played really well offensively, so I want to be all thrilled about that as a Commanders fan. But offensively, they looked really good, and they're a team that's going to be competitive. Okay, I was questioning how good they were because they beat the Giants only because the Giants missed Graham Gano with an injury at kicker, and I was thinking, well, maybe they're just they just got lucky. But Jane Daniels looks like 
the rookie of the year right now. He put up incredible numbers against the Bengals, very poised in the pocket, missed some open throws early, but in the second half, he really, really settled down. And if you can have a quarterback as a rookie settle down in the second half of a third game, you're in for a really good career. This isn't Caleb Williams' fault. His offensive line hasn't been holding up well, right? The, the Bears let him down, but he hasn't been able to sell in the pocket. Jaden Daniels has a good offensive line, a better offensive line, I should say, than what the Bears provide, allowing him to settle down. And if he can settle down and progress like this, he's going to be in for a really successful career. And I wouldn't be surprised if the commanders continue to look for a second wide receiver option because outside of Terry McLaurin, they don't necessarily have one. They are in the talks of Aaron Ayuk. They could use a wide receiver too. If they, they get one, right, a younger player too, they can really develop him alongside this quarterback. That's the story for another day. All in all, great game by the commanders. Bengals will be okay. Let me know your thoughts on this recap.